Hello, I am Tariq Al Ghazawi. I am a professor and chair of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering uh, at the George Washington University uh, in Washington, D.C., in the USA. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be here uh, in Morocco. This is not my first time. Uh, actually, my first uh, exposure, uh, really in depth exposure to Morocco, was in uh, 2011 uh, when I came as a Fulbright scholar and I had a chance. Uh, to spend time in uh, some of the universities and uh, working closely with some of the colleagues here uh, in Morocco. Uh, I'm always very impressed uh, with the scientific uh, level of all of the uh, researchers and professors here uh, in Morocco. It's always a pleasure to interact with your smart students. Um, and uh, also on the social side, uh, I'm always kind of captivated with the culture uh, of Morocco, actually very always uh, original, uh, Always traditional and modern in the same uh, you know time. Uh, the conference here is uh, talking about mechanics, materials. Um, I come from uh, maybe a different side that's still uh, connected in an interdisciplinary fashion. So I come basically from the very high-speed computing, the supercomputing or high-performance computing side, uh, in which we need to be using the top material uh, that kind of produced by the type of researchers here. Um, and also uh, produce supercomputers uh, that will be extremely fast and they can actually consume very low power. Uh, so also the type of scientists and engineers here can do big simulations in order to make uh, new innovations uh, in science and technology. Thank you. Kenneb Rabh, Doctor in Physical Sciences at the International University of Rabat. I am present here in the frame of the third International Conference of uh, Mechanics, Materials and Energy organized by International University of Rabat as well as the Moroccan Association of Mechanics, uh, Materials and Energy. I am also a part of the HOSIS project which aims at um, considering the building as a holistic structure which is made from different layers uh, to start with the first layer which is uh, the passive layer which uh, englobes all that is materials, construction materials and insulation followed by the active layer um, uh, which uh, concerns all the HVAC systems uh, as well as uh, other uh, electrical equipment and the third layer concerns the renewable energy sources all these layers communicate with each other all the time and they are managed by a vertical layer which is managed by technology, so information and communication technology. So here in UIR we have developed a platform named the EBLAB, Energy Efficient Building Laboratory, in which we manage to change the insulation materials in order to improve our energy efficiency as well as we integrate active systems and we try to control them uh, using the tech technology. Um, in parallel to this, uh, we have um, developed another uh, upscaled platform in Vingrir. So uh, the platform concerns uh, is in the frame of the Solar Decathlon Africa. It's uh, an international competition which has been organized in 2019. Uh, the aim was uh, to uh, build a passive building which works uh, based on solar energy and managed by uh, tech technology. I forgot uh, to mention that the HOSIS project is financed by uh, IRESEN and the partners are the International University of Rabat, Green Energy Park, ENSA of Kenetra and uh, the NOVIC. Thank you. Bonjour, Faisal Berada de Visitif Africa. Mais écoutez, on est ravis aujourd'hui de pouvoir participer à la troisième conférence de l'Université internationale de Rabat autour de la mécanique, des matériaux, de l'énergie. 
en collaboration avec Dassault Systèmes où on a rencontré des chercheurs du monde entier avec qui on a pu partager nos expériences communes sur ces différents sujets. Je suis Joël Rech, je suis professeur des universités à l'école centrale de Lyon en France. Alors je suis très heureux d'être là aujourd'hui dans cette conférence internationale qui regroupe beaucoup de personnes, des experts du domaine de la mécanique, des matériaux, de l'énergie. Donc moi, ma contribution aujourd'hui va porter sur les procédés de fabrication des pièces mécaniques, les procédés d'usinage, où je vais essayer de faire prendre conscience à mes collègues de l'importance de fabriquer les produits d'une certaine façon pour qu'ils aient un usage plus durable.